few years ago, I was reading a book by David Dayeda called The Way of the Superior Men. And in this book, there was one thing that he recommended all men do that he said was essential for masculine energy. And that thing was to take time off from time to time, to have periods of reflection and contemplation. He suggested you take your holiday leave from work and you spend maybe a week or two somewhere far away from your family, from your friends, far away from social media, far away from distractions, just to think, to contemplate. Now, naturally, as a man, you'd be, you'd think that a practice like this would be a waste of time, a waste of energy. Why would you get away from your life just to sit around and think? Why would you get away from working and making money just to sit around and think? Well, there's a reason for this. There's a reason why we think this way. Once again, masculine energy is penetration energy. It's force. It's getting things done. It's the energy that gets you from A to B. That's why it's natural for us to think this way. However, what you need to consider is that sometimes in life we overlook things. Now, when we get trapped in this nine to five grind, we get trapped in society's template. And we are in a society's template, the one that's been given to everybody. The go to school, get a degree, get a job, meet the one, have some kids, Work 9 to 5 until you're 60. Retire in your worst days. Live maybe 10 or 20 more years before you die. That's a template everyone's been given. We all know it. And it's real easy for men today to get trapped in that and not think that there's any other options, especially if they don't take time to think. They don't take time to reflect and put the pieces together. If you don't take time to stop and think, about your life, you can get chucked left and right. You can get pulled this way and that way. You will never truly find yourself. You'll always be the victim. You see an ad on TV talking about the new Mercedes Benz and you think that in order to be happy, you need to buy the Mercedes Benz because you never took time to stop and think. You never took time to stop and observe moments in your life when you bought something that you wanted when you fell into that consumer mindset the black friday sales when you bought those things and you only experience momentarily happiness transient happiness didn't last did it of course you know this if you didn't sit down and think and observe and contemplate if you don't sit down and think and contemplate you'll never know if you're living life to your metrics or if you're living life to society's metrics, perhaps in order for you to be happy, you'll need a new car. Maybe you just need more time for your Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu training. Perhaps in order for you to be happy, you shouldn't be in that marriage. Perhaps you should experience the world, see what you like. Maybe kids aren't for you. Maybe you do need kids, maybe you need more kids. All these questions you can only answer if you have time to pause and reflect, to think about your life. Are you going in the right direction with your career? Are you doing meaningful work? Or are you just working for money? Are you just working for survival? Are you trapped? Are you working to please your parents? Are you working to please your friends? What are you living life for? These are deep questions that cannot be answered when you are preoccupied with work, preoccupied with life as we know it. You need time off. You need time with your thoughts, time with your mind to dig deeper. This also allows you to plan for the future, to interpolate, to figure out if you are going to be where you want to be in a couple of years or if you're lagging behind. You can only do this when you pause, when you reflect. You can adjust course, change a few things, learn the things you need to do, do the actions you need to do in order to get to where you need to be. Only when you pause and reflect. If you keep going like a train, once you figure out that it's time to stop, your momentum will be too large and you won't be able to stop on time. That's why the freight train 
method of approaching life is not the best way of approaching life. You need time to stop and do some maintenance work. And I know it's pretty extreme. Some people might not have two months or two weeks off to engage in this practice, but everybody does have 20 minutes every day. So through meditation, you can also do the same thing where you tackle these thoughts, where you tackle some of your queries and get down to the bottom of things. If you spend 20 minutes every day just in contemplation, just sitting in some assigned corner of your house or even the toilet or whatever the fuck, you can also tackle these things. The only time that you can get trapped in society's rat race is when you never give yourself time never give time to yourself to think to invest to plan so this is of paramount importance guys you need periods of reflection and contemplation and anyway, i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure you like the video subscribe and all that good shit peace Just do it!